Welcome to origami. Paper origami meets slow stitching. I'm making some pockets for this latest slow stitch journal that we're making. Bring you close up so you can have a little look. It's little Freddy. Hello. <laughs> received this wonderful paper origami pocket. She keeps her postcard collection inside it. So if she doesn't mind, I'm going to take those out and I'm going to undo this. It's wonderful because it's given me the pattern. Let me show you. Now my latest slow stitch journal that we're making pockets at the moment it's six inches, so I've got a six inch pattern. I've also got a five inch pattern as well, just in case. So let's cut out origami paper if pattern both sides. So let's cut out some fabric. It's just a case of what size fabric have you got left. Let's see, does does the five inch fit on there? Yes, I can get the five inch out of there. So that's, yeah, it wasn't big enough for the six inch. That's why I'm using that. Cut, I folded the piece of fabric in half. Cut two pieces. I've got a pen. It's very handy. You can, you iron it. Once it gets to the heat, you can iron the line away. So that just shows me where to cut. You don't have to have that. I'll pin that together so it doesn't flop apart as I'm cutting it. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Hmm, beautiful. What a gorgeous bath. Mm -hmm. With the wrong sides together, let's fold it in half first, like that. And I'm going to finger press it, or you might have a little iron on your desk. Finger press that, and I'm going, let's, I have to look every time. So then it comes across like that. Maybe like a little bucket shape. So, oh, I really do have to look every time. That's just me. I'm looking for my glasses. Mm. So let me see. Oh, yes. So you're bringing it across like that. And then you're bringing this one across making it, I'm just adjusting it so it makes these bits you're bringing across equal there we are so it's across like that and across like that isn't that lovely and then you bring it down like this now you might want to choose a fabric that doesn't fray. I don't actually mind frayed edges. It would be lovely in felt if you didn't want it to fray. Now you can pop these in your slow stitch journal or in your paper journals. That needs a, probably a good iron and a press down. I slow stitch this one slow stitching to me means any stitch goes it doesn't have to be neat stitches and popped a little button there for this one i've made it out of coffee dyed coffee dyed paper paper fabric let's just take it apart just so you can see it again so it's this is just a single piece of fabric. Fold it over 
bringing these bits up here, making them sort of the same length after there. So you've got this shape here and then fold that down. And I'm going to get some ink and put some stamps on this. What have I got here? Get some maybe for patterns and, oh, I love this one. Carved that one, Rick Rack. Let's have Rick Rack. Let's have patterns. I could do some writing. Joy. Oh, lovely. Oh, I like the sun. And then I've got a little bee. So, yeah. Use what ink you have. I've got stays on ink here. And I just top up this pad when it's, when it's empty. When it dries up, I pop more ink on. I've got like a little mouse mat here. And if I put that underneath there, if they stamp a bit better. It gives them a bit of give. So, what have I got? Let's just, oh, I like the sun. What's on that side? Oh, I think it's meant to be a llama. <laughs> Might need a top up, let's see. Whoops. <laughs> oh, lovely. I'm just going to do it randomly. Oh, Fred, you're sorting yourself out there, are you? He's getting himself comfy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, just. Popping, popping just some, it's just a case of getting some nice colour on. So it's going to give it that little and bit of an antique look, really, with the coffee dye. It might go with the journal you're creating. Sunshine and bees, that's rather nice. That's the sunshine stamp. Oh, I think that's enough. I need to find a nice um nice button to go on here. I'm going to slow stitch round it. Mm. I love a button tin. Coming closer so you can see what we've got. Oh, I remember Sandra, my lovely next door neighbour, bought me those. They're lovely. I know what I'm looking for. Something, a wooden button to be, because it's quite a natural look to it. Oh, I like this one. Oh, it's got a clock and a parrot on. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, I think I'm going to have that. That will be gorgeous on there. Oh, this Thomas button, that was from S Sam and Ben's dressing gown when they were little. A mixture of new and vintage buttons. Thank you for lending me that as a template flow.
when Carol, Carol sent this, she also sent one that something that her mum had made, a little origami Freddy dog. <laughs> oh, it's coffee, coffee break time here. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> I've got this one to decorate. Shall we go over how to fold it again? This is one single piece of fabric. Fold it in half. And then fold it up like that at an angle. And then fold the other one about the same length in. So it's like that at the bottom and it goes up and then fold one of these V's down. Now, how am I going to decorate this? WYSIWYG, can you help me? Here she is. Full of glorious scripts and scraps of fabric. Oh wow, that's quite a big bit, but it's got a scrappy bit at the end. So let's take that out. Finding all the colourful bits. Oh wow, just never know. Oh wow, what something's going to turn out like. WYSIWYG always has an idea and a plan though. You get my trusty little pin cushion and pin some of these scraps on. I'm going to pop them down like that, fold them over and pin them. Now, I don't know whether you're going to decorate the back. Is it going to be sewn in your journal or stuck in a paper journal or will it go like this as Happy Mail? That's it. Tuck. Tuck that in, fold it over and then I'm making a scrappy patch one and then I can Let's pop a clip here. Have we got another clip? Oh, I have. Pop a clip here. And let's find us some scrappy patchy bits for this. Wow. Beautiful. I like a ripped edge. In this, that's it, over that way. And then over there, I can do that as I go, just folding that over there. Can you sort of see what I'm doing here? So pin some fabric on there. I'm gonna then I'm gonna lift that up and pin some fabrics on here. I'd like the joins showing so it it looks like origami. So let's fold that up over here. Looks a bit fiddly, but It'll all come together. Oh, that covers all of that. So fold that over like that. And then I'll be, I'll be patch sewing this on. You'll have to make sure you don't go all the way through, won't you? I'll show you as I go. That's it.
Did I? Oh yeah, I had a clip there. So yeah, probably, I'm just showing you this, but you'll probably patch it up as you go. That's going to be really colourful, isn't it? I'll take you step by step with this one. Mm. Oh, numbers. Oh, look at that. That just fell out with the... Oh, I love those. Love the numbers. Pop that over there. Lovely. I'm going to make myself up a tray and find myself a gentle, cosy spot to do some sewing. Come on, darling. <laughs> oh, Freddie, nice and cosy, aren't you? Oh, can you hear him breathing? He's reminding us to take take a nice breath. Right, where's those little scissors? Pins, thread, lovely. I'm coming down the front here and I've put in my hands in so I don't sew it together. And now I'm going to stitch all the way around the edge, getting all the layers of fabric. Oh, it's lovely. See, I get my hand in between, even when I've sewn on the button. <laughs> you have to make sure of that. Mm. Oh, oh my God. Little gray. And my cappuccino. I've just got hundreds of plates. Yeah, that's it. Just make sure you pop your little hand inside there when you're putting on the button. And now, of course, I've got my chenille needle here because it's nice and sharp. It goes through the layers. I've got quite a few layers here. So, yeah, pop, pop, popping the button on to this one. That's it with my just with my hand in there, just so I don't shut it. And what about this one? Yeah, I've oh I've closed it. Oh, you can't see that bit, but I'm just li like literally patching it up. Let's let's snip a little bit so you can see. Yeah, I meant to leave that bit open, but I haven't. So yeah, I'm just putting it across like that. Pin it. Let's snip this. Some bits, scrappy bits I've folded over, but I'll sew this one into my fabric journal I think so it doesn't matter what the back looks like you could cover it with a piece of fabric if you didn't want it to show and just get my thread here oh I've got some got my Chanel needle just need to thread this. I'm going to come around the edge here. You can tie a knot or just that's it. I'm just going to sew around the edge, but let me just show you how I pop my hands inside the pocket there. And I'm just patchworking this fabric on. There we 
we are. You can see here where I've gone all round these bits. I just wanted to make sure you realised just to have your hand inside. There we are. Oh, it's lovely. I'm enjoying doing this and I'll put a button on there. And another little patch here and here. Let's see which one am I, did I say about the back? Oh, it is this one. Let's get our fabric journal. What have we got? Here's the fabric journal. Last week's pockets. So we've sewn on there, we've got the fleece. This is another page and that will get sewn together. What we're going to put on this page. Let's do this. Hold on. That's it. You can put it there. Oh, doesn't that look nice? It looks a bit like a cupcake, doesn't it? We could put one of our little cupcakes that we made from tiny scraps in that pocket. Oh, that's cute. And I was going to put... Oh, if I just sew it on a few sides and don't sew it right down, I'll have a pocket here and a pocket at the back as well for one of Majala's birds. That's it, so I'm just going to sew it on here, leaving this bit open to make a little pocket. Oh, I think that's going to look lovely. <laughs> Shall we have a cup of tea together? Oh, thank you so much for spending this time with us. I've got my cup of tea and there's one... I think there's a, another packet. Ben took them home because we thought... Can't be trusted. Can't be trusted. Another tin tan left. Oh, lovely. I'm going to break it in half. Oh, that's not a very good half, is it? I need the bigger half for Sam. Mm. 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 Those are so delicious. <laughs> well done, Australia. Mmm. I've got a healthy snack as well. I've got my satsuma. Everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. Oh, this has been, this has been such fun. And if you don't want to make slow stitch origami, where's, where's the actual... Oh, here it is. If you don't want to make fabric ones, you can make... Oh, I almost need a tissue, don't I? You can always make paper ones. They're fun. I'll give you that one back. Did you make one, Flo? Oh, look. Oh, it's a adorable flow. Can we have a closer look? Oh, it's lovely. And it's a pocket. Oh, what are you going to pop inside? Are you going to make a fabric ATC flow? You'll be wanting to put your fabric one in your fabric journal, won't you, Flo? She's really enjoying her fabric journal as well. Hmm. Shall we light a candle? Mm. Oh, oh, it's here. Mm.
Thank you. Oh, before I say goodbye, Maria sent us a quote, Oliver Wendell Holmes quote. What lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared with what lives within us. Take care, everyone. Bye. Sorry, did you rush you? Nice. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there you go. There. <laughs> well done. Yeah.